Lauren Kavanaugh was just three years old. She was locked in a closet, thinking it was normal for parents to do this. She was only allowed out when her mother, Barbara, and stepfather, Kenneth, wanted to abuse her. She lived in a dark, lice-infested, and urine-stained closet. This was her mom's little secret. She was beaten with a paddle as well as blunt and sharp objects and was burnt with cigarettes. She would lay in darkness while listening to her six siblings laughing and playing outside. One day, when Barbara wasn't home, Kenneth told a neighbor, Jeannie Rivers, about Lauren. Rivers went into her home and told her husband, leading them to call the police. Quote, it got to the point where he couldn't take it anymore. It's unbelievable. I had no idea what was going on, end quote. The officers came into the house to see Lauren practically inhaling the spaghetti she was given. Lauren was eight when she was rescued, yet she looked like a toddler. She weighed only 25 pounds, was filthy with matted and lice-infested hair. According to medical staff, her skin was peeling off, her teeth were broken, and her stomach was bloated. Her organs were shutting down, and they were expecting her not to survive much longer. Her esophagus was clogged with feces, carpet fibers, and plastic. She couldn't do anything a child her age should know. Barbara and Kenneth were arrested and charged with injury to a child. They will be spending the rest of their lives in prison. Their other children in the house had been placed into emergency foster care. Lauren was soon adopted by Lauren Sabrina and Bill Cavanaugh who treated and loved her as if she was their own. This may sound like a happy ending, right? Well, it was, until December of 2018. Lauren, who was 25 at the time, was arrested and charged with sexually abusing a minor. In March of 2019, Lauren was indicted on three counts of sexual assault of a child. 